What's up guys, it's Harish back with another video and sorry for not posting for a long time, I was just too lazy but today I am back with another video and we'll be talking about some startups of Bitspilani. Now since I'm studying at Bitspilani, I know about some startups across all three campuses and I think it's, it'll be pretty interesting to talk about them. I wouldn't be talking about all of them, I'll just talk about some selective startups that I know of, there are several other startups and that's for another video. So let's start with the first one and that's called Pepper. So Pepper was started by Anirudh Singla and his co-founders whose names I forgot but it's a content marketing startup. So what they do is they produce content pieces. Uh, they have like media companies as their clients and uh, sometimes when media companies aren't able to produce enough content they sort of outsource this to other companies and that's what uh, Pepper does. It has like a group of students who are willing to write for them so Pepper takes those orders of people who want content and gives it out to those students who, want, who uh, write content. So students write content, these guys collect it back and give it back to all those media houses. For example, if your story wants an article, then what it, your story would do is it will approach Pepper and it will be like, Pepper, can you uh, give us um, thousand articles about entrepreneurship? Pepper would be like, cool, you pay us some money and we'll give you thousand articles about uh, entrepreneurship. So uh, it takes the order and then Pepper has like a Girl, uh, Pepper has a huge network of students who are willing to write. So Pepper does not have to hire uh, employees explicitly to write something. They they have like a, a network of students who are ready to work remotely and they produce the content for them. So Pepper will ask them to write uh, articles about entrepreneurship and all of them write on, uh, articles about entrepreneurship. They collect thousand content pieces, pay them an X amount and then take their X commission out of the money that uh, they got of your story and then give all these content pieces back to your story. It's an amazing job that Pepper is doing. Now the guy has graduated and is uh, living in Navi Mumbai uh, working on his startup. The second startup that I would like to talk about is Bytespeed. Now Bytespeed is, uh, was founded by one of my friends named Vinayak Agrawal and Bytespeed is a chatbot startup that serves e-commerce sites. So a chatbot, as most of you know, is something that automatically runs some scripts and chats with the user. So his e-commerce chatbots help uh, e-commerce sites to get more sales by giving them good product recommendations, giving them coupons now and then, and engaging with the user so that it gives them a better experience. Uh, before this, he did chatbot marketing for restaurants so he helped restaurants to implement chatbot and increase user retention. The third startup that I would like to talk about is Swiggy. Oh, okay, Swiggy is a bit startup, but I won't be talking about it because you already know a lot about it. Okay, so the third actual startup that I want to talk about is called Grey Orange. So Grey Orange is a robotics startup and it's been funded by a lot of BITS alumni so it's it's backed by BITS alumni. Grey Orange has been making industrial robots and they have been really scaling it up. Back in 1760 the industrial revolution happened. In this era another, another industrial revolution might happen in which humans are replaced by automatic robots. I'm looking out for that. Uh, thirdly, a uh, fourth startup that I would like to talk about is something that I found on Quora. It's a really interesting concept. I'm not. Sh I haven't researched much about it, but it's a fun concept. It's called online prasad, and uh, online prasad does online delivery of prasad from temples to homes. And this is playing with religion. I mean, okay, it's it's like a way of commercializing um, template prasads. See, now a lot of people visit Shirdi for its prasad. Uh, I know a lot of people who think that Shirdi Prasad gives is like a blessing from God, and it, it might be uh, it, it might be good for the family. So a lot of people would not prefer traveling to Shirdi just to get their Prasad, while they might get it delivered to their home from Shirdi itself. So I think this might work. Another startup that I would like to talk about is called Zivame. So Zivami is a popular lingerie startup. It's not a, yeah, it's a popular lingerie e-commerce site 
and I'm pretty sure you might have seen some advertisements of Zivami. It's also started by Pet Salamis. Um, these are some interesting startups that I want to talk about. I'll be coming up with more startup videos and see you in the next one.